Hello, this movie will provide a general overview of smart plant construction. Basically, the home environment allows you to access work packages uh, and to be able to track, maintain, and progress those work packages and to see changes that have been issued against those. So you can see here a flag is provided to let you know that a particular change has occurred and to be able to identify what changes have occurred whether it be drawings or materials or component changes and to be able to, to acknowledge those changes and to be able to see the differences in the various revisions within those changes. So within the, the Work Package Browser, you can look at a detailed view and get key color-coded information as to material availability, what's waiting for IFC, what has been issued to the field, etc., and so on. So you have a, a color-coded dashboard at any time. You can readily see the statuses of your work packages over time. Now, from a three-dimensional model perspective, uh, this model can be used uh, to, to filter and to query against, uh, to allow you to, to use as a paradigm for populating packages and, and looking at your data, the three-dimensional model. So you see here I'm looking at a properties grid for that particular uh, piping. I can see the drawings and the spools uh, that are associated with that particular uh, piece of pipe. Uh, it can also be able to, to use selection rules uh, at the component level, uh, see that level of detail, and to launch into smart plant materials. Uh, so here's a sample of an integrated external link uh, from the three-dimensional model uh, into smart plant materials so you can see your, your quantities, what you actually have in stock, uh, and your whole supply chain information uh, from your material management system. So uh, lots of navigation features, lots of uh, filters uh, within the, the that are automatically created for you uh, by discipline, uh, uh, by uh, package status. So you always know what's planned, what's not been planned, uh, what needs to be planned for the the various purposes. So you, anytime you can see uh, your uh, those that have been planned for fabrication, uh, those uh, with material availability, such as when materials are on site very important in work phase planning uh, to understand uh, what materials you actually have available and to be able to sh export those filters out for f subsequent manipulation uh, in other systems. So a very powerful interface within the 3D model that allows you to, to choose what you want to at varying levels uh, for packaging and being able to view the drawings and have a ready hot spotted link uh, between the, the three dimensional uh, components in the model and the actual uh, 2D drawings uh, with material takeoff that, uh, that everybody's used to seeing. But at this level, smart plant construction is integrated at the component level and provides for that uh, bi-directional navigation. Work packaging, uh, obviously you can create work packages very quickly. You can have automatic numbering schemes associated with that, various statuses. Be able to associate those to the parent construction work package and the contract and contractor, the discipline, the purpose they're associated with which is all key and have the, the number for the work package automatically generated based on uh, that criteria uh, when you're defining a new work package. And you can see that this is associated to a parent construction work package and now in the field you can establish your plan start and plan finish dates associated with those. Uh, Smart Plant Construction is going to help you calculate the plan man hours. So you can see a package here and then we can drag and drop in this case via the isometric drawing selection rule and to roll that up and add those at component level or at the assembly spool level and the drawings are automatically picked up and smart plant construction will notify you if there's any issues associated with that such as that, that you may have already packaged that information it may be out of the scope uh, that you're allowed to package in so there's rules behind the scene that are helping you package 
and understand what's been packaged, what's not been packaged, what's already been packaged, and what's partially been packaged, etc., so that you virtually cannot miss anything, even in a highly dense model. Uh, so here you can create snapshots associated with the inst installation of, of whatever you choose to. You can actually bring those up and uh, annotate those uh, within Smart Plant Markup uh, to add key annotations uh, to the particular model callouts for safety purposes or key standard installation uh, information that you wanted adhered to during the installation and once you make those uh, save those off those are automatically uh, associated with your package so you'll have your drawings in the system that you can see you'll be able to add uh, f uh, from uh, the drawings browser and that'll end up resulting in the components being parsed into the component screen for progressing so you can see now I'm at a shop well level uh, I can see my rates and my adjustment factors my plan man hours associated with that and other things such as actual man hours and actual quantities and completed quantities these are all the attributes that are available for the components and work steps and associated work steps within the work package itself so this is going to allow you to, to manage and control and progress your work step associated with your components that are contained within the package. You can also add additional factors related to the calculation of the planned man hours so that you can see that it's incremented the man hours based on the, the cold weather situations or whatever it may be, constraints. You can add to a package where they be equipment such as lifts uh, and uh, forklifts or scaffolding or heavy lift that may be associated with those. Uh, material availability that we've talked about quite a bit is the integration with your material supply chain information so you can see in fact if there's any issues that may be associated uh, with the material that's required in the warehouse and the bin they're located in and the fact that there may be insufficient quantities. It's very important from a work face uh, planning point of view that make sure that you've got uh, the right materials available uh, to execute the work in the field. So in a very important integration aspect. Uh, you can also generate material requests that include all the implied items, the bolts, nuts, and gaskets, uh, any temporary items that, that may be needed such as supports uh, and those type things can, can make sure that you generate a material request form uh, for those uh, based on uh, what's in your actual package. You can attach various attachments such as checklists, safety documents, uh, standard installation details, uh, whatever it may be. You can actually have audio or video files or, or pictures associated with those. And as you saw before, the snapshots and generate standard reports uh, such as your typical work package summary report that uh, gives the foreman uh, a hard copy of the work to be executed in the field it includes uh, the drawing list, the material list, any constraints uh, that you've defined for the particular uh, item uh, that may be needed to execute the work. Uh, you can see your material request form uh, for possibly you know and your checklist for um, uh, the work that needs to be performed, the snapshot uh, that you saw us create and the actual isometrics uh, themselves uh, associated with the, the package itself. So several standard reports we deliver off the shelf and then the packages themselves are always available as a filter so at any time the work packages that you create are tracking and progressing uh, you can uh, you can apply those quickly. Thank you.